welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be creating my interpretation of a Grim Reaper doll with a super cute twist. I'm going to be using this Monster High River Six doll, whose design is meant to be the daughter of the Grim Reaper, so she was the perfect choice to give a creepy cute Lolita inspired makeover. Once I prepare my doll and spray her face three times with Mr. Super Clear, I start drawing in her eyes with a red Faber-Castell watercolour pencil. I start outlining the general shape and then add in the iris and colour the sclera white. I build up the base colours as much as I can before moving on to the skull details on her nose and lips. I start with black pencil, but then enrich the depth of the black with watercolour paint. I wanted to add a little spooky element to the face, but keep it small enough that she still looks super cute. The last step before I seal this layer with MSC is blushing. I use pink chalk pastels on her cheeks, nose, lips, forehead and chin, and also add depth with dark purple contours around the perimeters of her face, her eye sockets and her cheekbones. I normally don't contour the cheekbones of my dolls that often, but I think for a Skeletor themed doll, giving her that gaunt look was really appropriate. To start my second layer, I continue to add details to the eyes. I add highlights to her iris and add more white to her sclera to make them more opaque. The original inspiration for this character's design was a comment I read, I'm not sure if it was Twitter or Tumblr or Reddit or whatever, but basically it was saying how everyone thinks the Grim Reaper is this mean scary character, but actually they're not the ones that kill you, they're just looking after you and walking you to the afterlife, which if you think about it is actually really sweet and kind. So I wanted to create a doll that kind of reflected that idea of a, a really friendly Grim Reaper, someone you would want to hang out with. I use a tiny fluffy brush to add a black pastel to the top of the eyes. This adds dimension and depth and helps to create the 3D illusion. I sharpen my black pencil as much as I can and draw in a few super cute and spiky eyelashes.
add glitters and pearl pigments with pink and blue shifts all over the face because I love glitter and it makes her super cute and shiny. After another layer of Mr. Super Clear, I add more black and white to her eyes to make them as opaque as possible. I then add her eye shines and catch lights. I actually used her original factory paint as inspiration for this style of catch light, and I think it turned out really cute. I start creating the base of her eyebrows with a light blue pan pastel, shaping it as I go with my kneaded eraser. It looks very intense right now, but after a layer of Mr. Super Clear, the blue will dull down a lot. Then I use pencils in a few shades of purple to create the individual hairs. As a final touch, I add some white highlights to her skeletal teeth. I gloss her eyes and lips, and the face up is done. Off camera, I used some acetone to remove the factory paint from her hands. I just felt like it didn't look cohesive with her new face up. I made her some pastel lavender hair from acrylic yarn, which I cut, brushed, straightened, brushed again, cut and glued to make wefts. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to see the full process of me making wefts from acrylic yarn. 
I sketch out where I want her part to be and start gluing the wefts on with my favourite fabric glue. To create her part, I glue on the wefts facing the wrong way, which I will flip back on itself when I style the hair. I continue to attach the wefts around the perimeter of her hairline and then fill in the bald spot with just one more weft. Usually I would fill in that spot quite densely with hair, but I wanted to create a tight French braid and the excess hair would make the style look quite bulky. I braided her hair off camera and then just tie them off with cute white ribbons. A Grim Reaper needs the iconic hooded cloak. So I used a pattern from Delightful's Etsy, but just slightly modified it to make it a bit shorter and more sweet. I cut the pieces out of black velvet fabric and follow Delightful's instructions and sew it together. To the point of her hood I add a gold skull charm and sew on a magnetic clasp to the front. Her dress is a sweet lolita style with short sleeves to make sure I can show off the beautiful translucent arms on the river stick stole. I was inspired to make the dress black and white striped by the beautiful sleepy hollow dress. I thought it was the perfect creepy, elegant reference to make. I also create a black apron and white bloomers with purple ribbon details. These shoes I believe are from a Twyla doll and I think they're perfect, except that the platforms seem to be a bit too high. So I just chopped them off with my X-Acto knife. I also create some cute lacy socks from this ribbon. I cut out a simple pattern and sew them up the seam. Every Grim Reaper needs a scythe, but I knew I had to give it a cute Lolita twist. I found this paper umbrella at my local craft store, 
and start modifying it by peeling the structure away from the paper circle. I use the circle as a pattern to cut out some white tulle, which I attach with fabric glue. To turn this parasol into a scythe, I sculpt this blade from milliput and sand it until it creates a sharp edge. I then glue it to the handle and paint the blade gold with acrylic paint. To finish up this accessory, I add lace details all around the parasol. And with that, she's all done. I named her Kira, a Japanese name meaning death. I hope you love her. If you like this doll or this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at MrSuperCustoms. This doll, as well as some of my other creations, will be available for adoption there, so please make sure you check it out. Have an awesome day!